My name is Murray Gershens, and uh, I've been interested in music most of my life. Around 1962, I decided that I wanted to get some extra income, so uh, my wife and I went looking for a kind of a business we should go into, and after we explored a few places, we realized that uh, our house was full of recordings and sheet music and uh, books about music. So I opened the shop, and uh, I tried to fill it with my whole record collection, but there was too much room in the shop, so I had to start buying other people's collections. I tried to have so much of everything that my, my motto was, you name it, I'll find it. And that was before the internet. So for me to find it meant having a lot of stuff. So that's one of the reasons that I wind up now with somewhere between 250 and 300,000 records. Vinyl is not dead, but uh, it's not as busy as it used to be. And it's more expensive, because the records that used to sell for $3.95, I'm selling them now for 50 and $60, and sometimes 100 or more, because they're not being printed anymore. And the ones that are out there got scratched up a long time ago. So you find a, a good record of Elvis Presley from the 50s in fine condition, an original label, uh, it'll go for hundreds of dollars. I've had uh, Danny, Danny Thomas come into the store. I've had Richard Chamberlain. I've had Nancy Sinatra. I sold one to Duke Ellington. And when, he, when I brought it to him, he picked me up and kissed me <laughs> on both cheeks. Sold him his own record because somebody asked him for it and he didn't have it. I've sold Louis Armstrong his own records. I've sold B.B. King his old record, his own records. These people never keep their own records. They travel all over the world. And ten years later, they say, oh, God, I made a record. And, oh, where they, I don't have it anymore. Originally, probably the company gave them a whole box of them. But now they don't have them anymore. So they call him Music Man Murray. <laughs>